Hi guys, I'm back. I literally did not film outside in so long. I had to go into like the smallest park with zero people to do that because I'm embarrassed. Need more practice. But yeah, anyway, so I saw someone on uh, my YouTube um, that posted they're gonna do like 12 days of Christmas vlogs, like Vlogmas. And I was like, ooh, today is the perfect day to start that. So I could also do that. I don't remember who that person was. But anyway, I was like, maybe it's a sign for me to get back to vlogging because I've been here in Krakow for like four months and all of my vlogs are like from different cities but not from here I've never really vlogged here so I thought maybe I could film my like regular life kind of regular but also Christmas preparation ooh snow falling from the trees but yeah I thought it would be fun and I'll show you daily what I'm doing uh, before the 25th so yeah if that's interesting to you then stay and let's hang out I actually did all of the fun stuff yesterday I don't know why I didn't think about filming that yesterday because I went to buy like all of the Christmas presents and yeah today I just met with my mom and we went to buy her Christmas present because I'm getting her glasses, uh, like prescription glasses for reading and we went to choose them and we got them and I got a little Starbucks and I'm heading home because it's really cold but look how pretty. So I'm gonna head home, I need to do some work, I also, I feel like I need to order a few more things for Christmas, maybe I'll show you guys that and maybe show you like the existing gifts that I already have, although I'm afraid that my brother is gonna watch my vlog and see what I got him. So maybe I'll not show his gifts. And every time someone passes me when I'm filming, I freak out. I need to stop that. Okay, my hands are freezing, so I'll see you at home. some work and watching this show so I've been watching the show on Netflix called The Hundred and I don't know I was feeling kind of like something apocalyptic dystopian you know just basically look at some people dying that's the vibe and I kid you not I watched I'm on the last season there are seven seasons i watched it in like two weeks and it's not because i'm just like sitting the whole day and like looking at the screen you know like i just turn it on in the morning i start like eating working then like doing something else doing some chores and it's just playing and it's playing every goddamn day like, I'm not allowing myself anymore to watch any shows that are longer than two seasons because I just can't stop. Like, I just need to finish it and it's not okay. But also, like, it's not like I'm watching it all the time. But I still know, like, everything that's going on. I just don't pay attention every second. But I would just, like, do something, look a little bit, do something, look a little bit. But it's still not good, you know? I should not be doing that. 
I feel like at this point my brain just needs like five things happening at the same time and I can't concentrate on one thing. I don't know why this is happening to me for the past like months. I'm just doing everything at once and in the end it takes me longer to do, you know, but I just, I still can't stop it. <sighs> yeah, let me know how you guys find this. Maybe it's just winter. Mm. Also, I just realized you guys didn't see me with my new hair color here. Oh my god. Stunning. My hair is kind of oily, but you see the vibe. I was going for like my natural color first, which is like a little bit lighter than this. But then me and my mom couldn't really find like the exact match so i thought it would be safer to go darker than lighter because if it was lighter and like my roots were already dark and the ends were super light it would just be like you know two sections so i decided to go a bit darker and i think it's really good and it sits me really well Ooh. and i feel much more confident with this hair than i did with the blonde for the past few months I thought blonde would be good for me, and it was for the summer, like in the summer I was really enjoying it But then like at some point I just had to get back to my Slavic roots Brown hair, brown eyes, you know the drill So yeah, that's the updates So for lunch slash dinner, I made mac and cheese, which I usually just put butter in the pan. I add flour to it to create this kind of like thick consistency. And then I add oat milk and mix it until it's all even and then add as much cheese as I'm feeling and mix it all together and then add pasta to it. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy comfort meal and i also didn't have any other cheese than slice so i had to crunch the sliced cheese in there and then i put some extra parmesan on top and it was super yummy so yeah that was my lunch i'm getting ready to grab some drinks with a friend and i did not feel like doing makeup today um i mean i have concealer on right now but that's it and yeah i feel like i can't go like this so i'll do some fast makeup because i have like 15 minutes to get ready so let's see how this goes i feel like the more i force myself into situations where i need to get ready and 10 to 15 minutes. On that note, Casetify is awesome. The amount of times that I dropped my phone to an extent where I was just like scared to pick it up because I thought it would be so bad, but nothing ever happened. Don't want to jinx it, but yeah, I am very satisfied with mine realistic outfit check because it's minus 10 outside <laughs>